Immediately after the Parkland High School shooting, politicians began scrambling to figure out what law they could pass to show that they were doing something to curb gun violence. We all know one thing for sure, and that is that laws work because bad guys follow law. Unfortunately, the bump stock was the sacrificial lamb that was led to the slaughter, and these laws were passed. Florida Statute 790.222, bump fire stocks prohibited. A person may not import into this state or transfer, distribute, sell, keep for sale, offer for sale, possess, or give to another person a bump fire stock. A person who violates this section commits a felony of the third degree. Now, personally, I'm not a very big fan of bump fire stocks. Uh, I owned one in the past and I immediately sold it after firing it only once. The problem that I have is that a bump stock has only been used in one crime ever. The Las Vegas shooting was very tragic, but let's look at the facts. Hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of bump stocks were sold in the United States to law-abiding gun owners. And because one lunatic goes crazy, they all become illegal. It just doesn't make any sense to me. The other problem I have is that the definition of a bump stock is extremely vague. So a bump fire stock means a conversion kit, a tool, an accessory, or a device used to alter the rate of fire of a firearm to mimic automatic weapon fire or is used to increase the rate of fire to a faster rate than is possible for a person to fire such semi-automatic firearm unassisted by a kit, tool, or accessory, or other device. Now, this statute would mean a binary trigger, TACCON triggers that allow you to shoot faster rate than a standard mil-spec trigger. Now, I guess only time's gonna tell on how the courts are gonna rule on this issue in the future, but in my opinion, tread very lightly because you don't wanna be the first person to go to court for violating this rule.